Confederation of Indonesian Trade Unions delivered some notes in the implementation of emergency COVID-19 restriction. One of the point is demanding salary subsidy to be continued. The president of Confederations of Indonesian Trade Unions, who is also central administrator of ILO, Said Iqbal, responded. The emergency COVID-19 restrictions which has been announced by President Joko Widodo. Kami bersama pemerintahan Bapak Presiden Jokowi siap berjibaku untuk menurunkan COVID-19 di tengah pandeminya dan mendukung langkah-langkah PKM dengan tetap mempertimbangkan efek ekonomi. There are four points that are addressed by the union. First, the union appreciate government's movement to contain COVID-19 cases through emergency COVID-19 restrictions. Therefore, employers must provide all facilities related to health protocol. Second, if workers who are exposed to COVID-19 and have to self-isolate, companies and government must provide adequate medicines and treatments for free. Third, government must guarantee that there will be no layoffs and salary cut. The union also demand salary subsidy to continue. And fourth, the last one is about omnibus law. The omnibus law is not the answer to threat and explosions of layoffs in the midst of increasing pandemic and therefore the union requested that the job creation law immediately to be revoked. From Jakarta, Kilam Raditya, IDX Channel.